Nice. How can you not love the Back to the Future trilogy? No, it's Virus. I'm you from the future. But we look exactly the same. Well, we're a vampire, remember? Oh, right. So what did you want? You have to come back to the future with me. It's about Meep. She's in danger. Something horrible happens. Oh, no, really? No, I was just bored. I thought I'd hop in my time machine. Well, that was a dick thing to do. Nosphirus, I'm you from the past. You have to come back with me. A dinosaur ate your child. Wh what? I've lived through my past. I know none of that happens. Damn. Anyway, I don't have a child yet. I knew I should have said your cactus. Hey, how come we still look the same? We're, We're vampires. vampires. Oh, right. So, what are you reviewing today? Don't you remember? Back to the Future. So, so how, can how can you not, not love, love the Back to I the like Future kitties. trilogy? I like fluffy ones and short-haired ones, and I like puppies. I like turtles. What? Guys, it would probably work better if only one of us did the review. All right, go ahead. So anyway, like I said, I mean, how can you not love the Back to the Future trilogy? I mean, it's just such an awesome 80s movie. It's, you know, one of my favorite movies of all time. I mean, everything from, you know, uh, Marty McFly himself, like, you know, he's just such an epitome of, of coolness in the 80s. Um, you know, he's like what every kid wanted to be, especially when, you know, you're growing up in the 80s. You're, you're a little kid yourself. Uh, he, he's like the epitome of cool to you. Um, I mean, it's just an awesome movie. You know, uh, Doc Brown, uh, you know, Dr. Emmett Brown is just awesome. I mean, everything about this movie is just iconic, and I just love it. There's, you know, of course, the time machine, the DeLorean. There's, of course, the flux capacitor. Um, you know, I mean, how can you even, how can you not love um, Biff? He's such a funny, such a colorful character. Um, now, as uh, as I'm sure I would hope you would all know, um, the flux capacitor is what makes time travel possible. It is part of the uh, the DeLorean built by Doc Brown. Uh, once he gets the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour, it'll go through time. Uh, so what ends up happening is that Marty takes a test trip, um, or, well, Doc and Marty are, you know, are testing out the time machine, and uh, trouble ensues. Uh, Marty ends up accidentally going back to uh, a time when his parents were teenagers, uh, kind of intercepts a, a moment when his parents were supposed to have met, uh, which kind of screws things up, and, uh, you know, ends up with his mom, instead of falling in love with his mother, his, uh, with his father, his mother ends up falling in love with him. Hey, Scott. I know, pretty heavy, right? Um, so, you know, of course, Marty's got to go run around and he's got to fix this. Um, you know, he's got to find a way to fix it so that it doesn't turn out he no longer exists because, you know, he uh, kept his parents from meeting. So he's got to find a way to get them to meet. Uh, runs into trouble with Biff. Uh, it's just absolutely an awesome movie. I just love it. Uh, the two that followed are just great. I mean, you know, it's just a great movie, just a great set of movies. Uh, you know, it starts with, um, in the second movie, he actually gets to go into the future, which is kind of cool. Uh, they have a lot of, like, funny predictions that they show, stuff that uh, never was going to be actually real, you know, flying cars that run on trash instead of gasoline. Um, you know, just a lot of cool stuff like that that they, they knew was never going to be in that amount of a time real, but they just thought it would be something really funny. Um, the third movie actually gets to go back to the Wild West, and, you know, just, they're such flawless movies, they, they fit together so perfectly. Um, they're just like, you know, an iconic movie of the 80s. So, you know, if you haven't checked them out, then what the hell are you waiting for? Uh, they, uh, honestly, they are movies that everybody must see. But three of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, they're just awesome. See, I'm like an 80s man here today. They're the kind of movies you can find on TV and watch anytime, or, you know, Definitely must own on DVDs.